Yo, what's up? Hey everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about runway and specifically runway's background removal. I think it's called runway green screen. I've been messing around with this and I know this is not something new. I think this has been out for a while already, but I had never tried it out. And as some of you know, or if you don't know, I made a video about background removals and I use the paid plugin called Goodbye Green Screen. And I also used a free tool called RVM. I believe it's robust video matting. I use that through Google Colab. They both have their great uses. One of them is quite expensive. Damn! The other one obviously is free, but I heard so much about runway and its background removal that I wanted to test it out. And I think this is useful for some people, especially if you don't have a powerful computer or if you don't own any programs to remove backgrounds, like if you don't own After Effects or anything, it's all browser based. So you can literally be on any computer and just log in and upload a video and then have like an editing program on any computer. And I think that's that's pretty cool. I don't like the whole subscription thing. I never liked that. I don't like that Adobe does that, but you know, that's just the reality of, you know, how today is. Everything is rented. <laughs> I kind of already messed around with it, so I know somewhat how it works, but I want to grab a new video that I have not done anything with. And I want to go over why I think it's such a great tool, especially for my audience who uses Stable Diffusion for videos. I wanted to mention this tool because although Runway charges a monthly fee, they have a free version where you can download the video at 720p, which you may think, well, why would I want to do that? Well, if you're doing AI videos, like generating animations through Stable Diffusion, 720 might actually still work because you can always upscale in Stable Diffusion. And when you export it in 720, it doesn't look so bad when the original video is actually a high quality. It's definitely still useful. I'm gonna be messing around with the free version. I'm gonna show you how it looks when I export it and show you how it can still be useful even though you're using the free version. So you can come to this website, uh, runwayml.com. And like it says here, you can try this for free. So I created an account. I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna bring a new video in. So let me go pick a video. I actually wanna pick this video right here because I think there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people in the background. I always try to do the, something that I think is gonna be challenging and then I regret it later. For me, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge because there is a lot of movement happening here. Like there's a lot of people in the background and I just wanna isolate this guy right here dressed up as Dudley from Street Fighter. I think the biggest issue is not so much his body, but it's like this rose right here and I want to just get the rose. I don't want to get all this stuff in the background. So I know it's going to be a challenge. I really want to test what Runway's green screen is capable of. So I think this is a good test for that. So let me actually color grade this really quick. I bring some shadows in maybe a little bit. I'm not going to try to perfect it. I'm going to export this. So let me create a new project. I'm going to go to green screen right here. So I'm going to be dropping in the clip I just exported into here. Let's wait for that to load. It's a seven second clip. I'm gonna double click on this and then we should have a timeline here. First thing you have to do is, like I said, here, click area to start masking. I'm gonna click on this head to start off with. By clicking that, it selected this area and it creates a keyframe down here as well. So the selected area is what's gonna be masked and then the background will be removed. So as you can see here, you can mess around with the transparency, um, the overlay, so you can preview what it's gonna look like, the alpha channel. And then you click on other areas that's not selected already. So let's say his pants right here. Yeah, it selected all of this already. And then finally this glove. It has selected everything so well, man. I just, I love it. You can uh, press H to drag and uh, drag along like this. And then shift F to fit to frame. I still have to select these roses. You press plus to zoom in negative to zoom out. And then let me just select these roses right here. This is the part that's gonna get a little bit difficult because the little details between the roses and stuff. Yeah, so we selected that. This is what it looks like. It's not perfect. There's already like some stuff down here that I need to fill in. I'll talk a little bit about the refinements later. You wanna keep going and see where the masking loses track of your subject. So here you start to see that it's starting to lose track. The great thing about Runway's green screen feature is like you can go to some point where it's not masking anymore and you can just select that area that is missing. Like in this case, his arm, right? So I can select this arm right here. And every time you make a selection or you make any kind of change, a keyframe will be created, which will save those changes. It selected his arm, but it also selecting this other guy right here. 
and his arm too. So what you want to do is you can toggle between include and exclude uh, by pressing one to include and then two to exclude. So in this case, I want to exclude this part and it makes like a little red dot there. It's going to remove this guy. Man, it's like magic, man. It's crazy. Look at that. Easy peasy. The thing is like, you don't want to just go to the very first frame you see like right here, that's that's not masked like and, and try to fill this in because what's going to end up happening is you're going to be putting so many keyframes. And this is a mistake I made in the past that if you put a bunch of keyframes, you're actually doing a lot of the work that runway is supposed to do. Like you have to let runway do the heavy lifting. If you start to like put a bunch of keyframes, you're doing the work. You're, you're like painstakingly choosing each frame like to, oh, I want this, I want this. And, and sometimes if you do too many keyframes, they start to conflict with each other and then you end up not getting good results in the end. And that's, that's what happened to me when I was testing this is like, I learned that less keyframes is actually good. So don't go crazy with the keyframes. Yeah, you wanna go further out, like right here. Like I said, give your keyframe some space so that runway could do its thing. Yeah, let's select this part of his body again. And, and it selected everything. Here, it got a little bit of this guy's head. I'm gonna leave it for now. Let me just get the keyframes down where I want every keyframe to be, and then I can refine it after. So here, I probably want another keyframe right here on his face. Positive. Like I said, I'll refine that after. I just wanna make sure that for the most part, all of it's selected. You can also move frame by frame by pressing the left arrow to go back a frame and then the right arrow to go up forward a frame. Okay, so I made four keyframes. I might add some more depending if I need it. So let's go to the keyframes. Let's make some refinements if we need to. All right, so this one right here, right? We wanna remove that. Let's go to refine. And I love this, it's like a brush and you can choose how big of a brush you want and then also how much you want to feather it. Also, this has the positive and negative, include and exclude. So you include, it's gonna create the mask and if you press exclude, it's gonna remove it, kind of like a paintbrush. So yeah, we remove that guy. And then anything after or before that, it's gonna apply that change that I just made. So if I play this, yeah, he's not being selected anymore. And this person back here also needs to be removed so maybe i gotta choose something in the middle yeah let's choose this so by picking the right frame it would determine how well the mask will, will work with the other frames so in this case i do want to refine this a little bit let me zoom in and i have to uh, color this in and then i want to make sure i want to include it so that should have applied the change even on these ones but if it didn't then I have another keyframe here where I can give it a little bit more help. And this is why I chose this clip because I wanted to make it a little hard on myself so that I can show you some bad scenarios. Let's see how these look together. It is struggling a little bit because of how difficult it is to track this little rose thing. And also there's just so much going on in the background. Try to use as much as you can the frames that already exist so that you don't have to, like right here again, here you see like there's some unwanted things here. I don't wanna have to create another keyframe, like I said, cause it's just gonna make everything so much messier and it's actually gonna work against you at the end. So, and then now we come back here and hopefully it fixed that. Yeah, it fixed it. So I'm just, I'm gonna stick to this. It's obviously not perfect. I can say that it's way easier than using the rotoscope brush from After Effects. I just wish, I don't know, maybe it does have reduced chatter setting like After Effects does because uh, that would help with like all the jitteriness. I don't see it here. I don't know if the paid version has it or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. I think if it doesn't have it, they should really add it. I think it would definitely make it a cool option to have. It's a lot easier and a little bit more enjoyable process than using the Roto brush. When I was using plugins like Goodbye Green Screen or RVM, I had a little control of what was being removed from the background. What I love about this is that I have it remove the background for me, but then I can make adjustments and I can make adjustments within the same window. To me, just the process is way easier. I definitely enjoy it a lot more. So let me go ahead and export this. So I'm gonna put done masking. You can change the background right here which is very cool. I have to make it a color that I, it's not already there. I have a green and blue. Yeah, I've made it hard on myself. Yeah, I think this like neon 
really bright neon green would help differentiate it from this screen right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and export. Like I said before, the free version only allows you to download 720p and only one format. I'm totally okay with that for what I typically use this kind of stuff for, and that's uh, stable diffusion. So I'm gonna go ahead and export it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And I think that even at 720, look at how clean it still looks, right? So you can definitely generate stuff with stable diffusion and get really good results. I think the free version is worth messing around with and you still have other uses for this. If you don't need it to be HD or 4K, then ah, this is this is real still useful for some people, I think. So definitely check it out. You can totally use the free version. I definitely recommend it. All right, everyone, let me know what your thoughts are about this. Have you subscribed to Runway? Have you even tried this tool? Have you messed around with any other tools? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, take care. God bless. Peace.